Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel Let's Slice Data with Saurabh. So today I am here to discuss about this performance metrics. This is the world of AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, data analytics, all these kind of jargons you are uh, hearing from time to time. Now chat GPT is there and you know there are so many things. Bard is there, Google Bard, chat GPT, everything is going on. And you know the chairman or CEO of that particular person, uh, company AI, uh, chat GPT, he has given some challenge to the Indian companies that, okay, uh, how you are going to deal with that. So I just want to give you some, you know, basic understanding about the machine learning models and how we are going to measure that uh, performance out of that. I will give you one example also in the end with the Excel sheet so that you will easily understand that what exactly I'm talking about. I have already created a video on supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning, how they are different. You can go there and watch. There is It is there in my um, uh, videos. You can go there and definitely watch that. But other than that, I have created a video how to use the chat GPT. Google Bard is very simple. You can go and utilize that. Everything is great, but how the human intervention is important in the artificial intelligence, that matters because you can... Uh, think you can utilize your mind that okay because machine will do the analysis only based on the data whatever data you you will give there like our appraisals every time there is some human intervention they will say no this person doesn't deserve this give him that there is some biasness similarly in the machine learning models also you have to be very careful when you are calculating the performance metrics that how my model is performing machine learning model any classification model you can take um SVM, class, uh, random forest, classification, regression, whatever kind of model you want to take. But you have to end in the end, you have to give the results. Why we are doing that? Um, uh, because we are getting some labeled data, okay? In a binary classification supervised learning, it is important that your data should be labeled to create your model. You are going to divide that data into 80, 20, 30, 70, whatever. And then you utilize the bigger chunk of the data to train your model. And then you have to test it on the rest of the 30%. But you have to see that how your model is performing so that if a new customer will come, the similar kind of uh, you know input data you will give, and then your model will classify perfectly that, okay, this person is having that kind of problem or not. That's why labeled data is important for the classification for the supervised learning. Unless your data is labeled, you will not call it uh, call it as supervised learning. So remember this thing, labeled data, supervised learning, okay? So here we have, uh, I have taken one example in the end, as I told you that I will show you on Excel as well, that okay, how exactly it is working, what is important, why the human intervention is in, important there. So two classes, okay? Yes, no whether it is having that kind of problem or doesn't have, whether he has done the fraud or not. All these kind of, you know, classification kind of problems are coming into this. So going to the next, that what is confusion matrix? See guys, this is important. Why? Because confusion matrix, let's say you go for any interview in data science, machine learning, anything. So this confusion matrix will play a very important role. They are definitely going to ask you like four to five questions, which I'm going to teach you today. This is important. I know most of you already know that, but if you do not know, please watch this video till end and your all the confusions will be taken care. So two by two class of matrix, it is basically what is actual and what is predicted. Actual data is already labeled, as I told you, to train your model, definitely you need some labeled data. And then you predict on that data that, okay, how my model is performing on the rest of the 30%. As I told you that you have to divide your data into 80, 20 or 70, 30. Then you have to train your model on the 80% and then you have to predict it on the rest of the uh, 20%, like 70, 30 or 80, 20, whatever uh, divide you want to do. Okay, so true negative and true positive. Just focus on these two things. True negative means in the actual data, it is showing it as negative and your model is also able to identify it as negative. So then it's called true negative. True negative means like it doesn't have a problem and my model is also saying that it doesn't have a problem. Whatever model you will use, classification model uh, means like a random forest, SVM, whatever you want to use, machine learning technique, you can use it. But in the end, you have to check this. This is very important. Positive means true positive means 
the model is also saying positive and my data is also saying positive so if these two are correct then we can have some confidence on our data let's say if we give the data of a new uh, entry into that al um, along with all the input and everything age uh, you know everything like their age and their um, eating habits and their salary and everything it will calculate it and tell you the right results because if these two values are higher true negatives and true positives means your model is working perfectly fine so to calculate the accuracy you have to make sure that your true negative and true positive are on the higher side and what will be the formula then true negative plus true positive on upon aggregate everything else just add everything true negative true positive false negative false positive add everything put that in the denominator but your true negative and true positive should be on the uh, um numerator side and then you can actually calculate the accuracy so how your model going to say that okay my model is accurate your true negative and true positive should be on the higher side this is the definition of what is true positive true positive means model correctly predict the positive class prediction and actual both are positive that is called true positive true negative means model predicts the negative class prediction and actual both are negative so these two are very important these two should be on the higher side false positive is called type 1 error means like this is the perfect question for any interviewer i have taken around 35 to 40 interviews in my entire life and i have asked them what is type 1 and type 2 error and they are not able to answer that in most of the cases what is precision recall they are not able to answer that that's why i am saying that i will show you one excel sheet in the end and i will show you the real data and then you can understand that okay what i am talking about type 1 error is means predicted is positive but actually it is negative so the data which i am trained the model it is saying that this person doesn't have a disease but my model predicted it as a positive no it is having a disease so then it is called a type 1 error this is very dangerous guys fv we have to reduce at any cost means like why we are saying that person doesn't have a disease but we are saying it positive but in in this case also that is fine we will do the test of that but think about the type 2 error which is very important predicted as negative and actually it is positive so let's say the person is having a disease of kidney lung heart i am just talking the medical terms because in most of the examples you will find that only uh, and we are saying it is negative so this is called the type 2 error type 2 error is very dangerous guys we have to reduce it for any cost i mean this is dangerous so type 1 error is false positive false positive is also okay the person doesn't have a problem but we are saying it problem we will check him okay that is fine but the false negative is very important and very dangerous why because the person is having a problem and we are saying he doesn't have a problem so this is a dangerous thing type 2 error we have to reduce it at any cost this is very important what is precision what is recall they are between 0 to 1 first of all understand that precision is out of all the predicted uh, positive predicted what percent is truly predicted uh, positive basically so total positive upon total positive plus false positive false positive as i told you uh, this is important why because it is a type 1 error false positive we have to reduce we have to make sure that uh, if doesn't have a, if the person doesn't have a problem we should not say that it has a problem right otherwise unnecessary cost we have to test him we have to go through all these things corona all these things are going at right false positive there are so many cases of false positive the person doesn't have corona but they identified him as a corona and they did, did the testing and that all these things were going on so we have to make sure that false positive type 1 error should go down so precision is nothing but tp upon tp plus fp don't worry i will give you example i will show you an excel sheet so out of all positive predicted what percent is truly positive so we have to make sure that fv will go down and our precision will go high but precision is also fine means it is between 0 to 1 as i told you if the person doesn't have a problem and you are saying he is having problem means might be we have to just test him that's it but recall this is great example guys this is data science if if there is no recall i mean i'm saying there is no data science in the medical field at least so true positive rate or a sensitivity sensitivity is the second name of recall so remember this thing true positive upon true positive plus false negative so false negative are the very dangerous type 2 error the person is having a problem but my model is saying is not so data science will fail there so that's why we have to reduce the false negative at any cost means false positive are okay but false negative if the person is having a problem and you are saying it is not 
then that person might be left and he might die or he might get into more problems. So we have to reduce this false negative at any rate. Just remember this thing that recall is more important than precision because uh, in the medical field or in any other field, you can just do the vice versa or whatever. But still, the person is having a problem and we are saying him not. Type 2 error is a very dangerous thing, guys. So I will tell you a couple of more examples of the recall. Let's say we do not want to miss any fraud transaction. We want false negative to be low as possible. False negative is the dangerous thing, guys. He has done the negative of fraud transaction and we are missing him in our machine learning model. So that will create a problem. We have to reduce it. Okay. In this case, we can compromise with the low precision. But recall should be high in the case of fraud transaction. Why are we saying low precision? Let's say person has not done the fraud, but it name came that, okay, he has done the fraud. We will do some checking and we'll say, no, no, he has not done it, leave it. But if a person has done a fraud and our model is saying, no, he has not done a fraud, then their banks, institution, financial institution, they all will go in trouble. So false negative has to be reduced. Similarly, in the medical application, we don't want to miss any patient. Therefore, we are focusing on the high recall. Recall is important. False negative is important. We want to reduce that false negative. If the person is having a medical problem, he should be identified. He should not leave at any cost. False negatives are what? type 2 error. We have to reduce it. Just remember what is type 2 error. Type 2 error is nothing but a false negative. Predicted negative, actually positive. We want to reduce this at any, any rate. So our entire data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, all depends upon this false negative and false event. We want to reduce this type 1 and type 2 error. I am telling you, precision, recall, type 1 error and type 2 error are the interview questions and they are going to ask you. Okay, let's... <clears throat> Let's go to an Excel sheet, which I just promised to you. Okay, just focus on this. I hope you are able to see that. Let me increase the size. Let's say the patient who actually don't have a kidney disease are 82. This is the real data we have, okay? The patient who actually do have a kidney disease are 100, okay? Now we have applied a model on that and we identified that, okay, number of patients who predicted as not having kidney disease are 80, and the number of patients who are predicted as having a kidney disease are 102. So we will say that is fine, right? 82 are actually don't have a kidney disease. And we are also saying 80 and 100 are having a kidney disease. We are saying 102. But the problem is, might be these 80 are different from that 82. That is important, guys. You have to remember this thing. Might be 82 patients who are having a kidney disease. Our model is not able to predict them properly. That's why this all will come into the picture. I will show you a simple example and then you will understand. This is the data. Let me put a filter on that. Okay, here patient name, actual data having problem. So let's say kidney problem, this person has a kidney problem and this is the predicted data. So I will go one by one. So I will go one by one. So first we will go for the true positive. True positive means what? The person is having a problem and my model is also saying that he is having a problem. So that is called true positive. Means my model is accurately predicting that, okay, this person is having a problem. And you can see in the right, there is a matrix true positive. True positive are 86 out of 182. So 82 per 86 person are having a problem, a true positive basically. And uh, it is saying, yes, true positives are 86. So as I told you in the data itself, okay, let's say true positive are 86 here. Then we will go for true negative. True negative is nothing but the person who doesn't have a problem, my model is also saying doesn't have a problem. That is great, right? Uh, my person, my actual person is doesn't have a problem. Even here also, my data is also saying he doesn't have a problem. This is called true negative, right? Then we will go for false negative. False negative are very important and dangerous, basically, as I told you. Because these person are having a problem. When my model is saying he doesn't have a problem. This is the biggest, biggest problem, guys, I am telling you in the history. Because if we leave, miss this patients, we are going to miss him. Means like maybe <laughs> they will go down, uh, go to God or Jannah, Jannat or Jannum or Swarga or anywhere. False positive. 
फॉल्स पॉजिटिव मीन्स द पर्सन डजेंट है प्रॉब्लम बट अवर मॉडल इज प्रोडिक्टिंग एट येस दे आर हैविंग अ प्रॉब्लम ओके सो This is the data which has come out as false negative, false positive, true negative, and true positive. Around total, one hundred eighty-two patients are there. Fourteen of them are showing false negative. Four, sixteen of them are showing false positive. True positive, true uh, negative are sixty-six, and true positive are eighty-two. This is our matrix coming out of it. So this is the matrix which came out of that particular data which we have in the beginning, and. Uh, this is the thing which we are telling. So as I told you, right. in the beginning 82% having kidney disease where we are saying only 80 that they are having 100 or doesn't have a kidney disease you are saying 1 and 2 but this people can differ right because of yes no yes no combination right they might differ so total 86 are true positive which we are saying that okay 86 we are clearly identifying them and 80 66 we are uh, identifying them as i told you in the beginning if you remember the accuracy of the model depends upon true positive plus true negative upon everything else true positive and true negative these are the two important things so we are clearly identifying 86 people are having kidney problem and 66 doesn't have so 86 plus 66 if you can see divided by everything else upon 182 we are getting 84% accuracy of the model this is good this is great this is excellent that 84% of uh, percentage is, is the accuracy which we are defining here but what about the recall and precision this is important because this is the kidney data right if you miss any patient you are going to uh, means like uh, he is going to suffer so we have to make sure that our recall is great our recall is 86% why because our false negative is still are there false negative how many 14 are false negative what is the meaning of false negative the person is having a kidney disease i will show you again so let's say i put a filter here false negative so false negative is a dangerous thing guys these guys are having actual problem but my model is saying no that is called false negative so what think about these 16 patients we will give them the reports you do not have corona you do not have patient you do not have kidney problem you do not have heart problem they will go home and they will do whatever they want to do but in this case we are actually <laughs> putting them in a trouble so that is important let's say and false positive this is also important precision is also important precision along with recall is important but precision is less important than recall in the case of medical history or in a case of fraud transaction as i've already informed you right that uh, let's say even if the false positive uh, how many false positive are 16 are there we are saying that okay this person has a kidney problem actually he doesn't have so we will check him and we will give him some med uh, and then he will say that, okay you are not there that is fine but our model is accurately predicting that 86% are having this problem so at least in this model how we are getting this data actually having a problem there are some uh, input parameters so input parameters you can say is uh, age is eating habit or uh, uh you can say where he lives let's say he lives in delhi definitely there will be some problems right uh, air quality pollution this that how where he works if he works is um, where he works if he works in it company definitely he is having some pressure on his mind or if he is working in manufacturing then also he is uh, i don't know means like in sales and marketing whatever where he works what kind of lifestyle is uh living lifestyle so this is also important because lifestyle uh, having cigarettes or you know alcohol yes no this all kind of data will give you the actual whether this person is having a problem or not and let's say if a new person will come and we will give them into this particular model there is 84% chance that my model will tell correctly that whether this person is having a problem or doesn't have a problem so this all will become my input data this is the actual and this is the predicted so i hope it has clear your some concept of false negative false positive true negative true positive precision recall accuracy confusion matrix so guys means this is very very important you all have to know because um, wherever you go whatever you do they are going to ask you this ai ml machine learning performance matrix is one of the greatest example 
um, of this uh, world. So just, uh, I hope you like this lecture. Just uh, share it with your friends. I will not say subscribe, but share it with your friends, like it, and make them learn about it. This is important. Okay, thank you everyone. Have a great day. Enjoy. Bye.